Okay, this is going to be part two about the principle of inclusion and exclusion. And in this video, I'm just going to run over some notation and the proof. So I'm not going to write, I basically have everything written down. I'm just going to kind of talk out, just talk through it. Um, so if you're not interested in the proof, certainly feel free to skip this video. I mean, again, it's just a justification of the formulas that we saw. And again, just sort of going over some of the notation. In the follow-up videos, I will also, you know, actually show some examples. So if you're just really looking for concrete examples, maybe jump ahead to the next part, and I'll put links in the videos. So, okay, so to rehash in the last video, we did an example, and we showed that the number of elements in A1, union A2, union A3, we ended up deriving uh, this following formula. So, um, we take the number of elements in A1, plus the number of elements in A2, plus the number of elements in A3, and then we subtract it away. We looked at the intersection of those sets pairwise, so A1 and A2, plus A1 and A3, plus A2 and A3, and then lastly, we had to add the intersection of all three sets. So let's just look at some notation here real quick. So, so we saw this notation in, in the previous video. We had, you know, n1 minus n2 plus n3 minus n4, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to define this number n sub s. And again, we'll refer back to a specific example here in a second to, to, to make some sense out of this. So we're going to define n sub s for values of s greater than or equal to 1, less than or equal to r. That's going to be the sum of the sizes of all possible intersections of the s sets chosen without repetition from among the sets that we have a1, a2, through a4. So for s equals 1, we're just going to define the intersection of a single set just to be the set itself. And so, for example, n sub 1 would be, well, we would take the number of elements in A1 plus the number of elements in A2 plus dot, 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 up to the last set, the number of elements in A sub R. Now, we're going to use combinations to count a lot of things. And I'm going to use, um, you know, I'm going to say it as R choose S, even though I'm going to use this, this uh, notation C uh, parentheses R comma S. So I, I just read that as R choose S. And... So notice that since there are R choose S ways to choose the S sets among A1, A2, through A sub R, each one of these, uh, these terms, N sub S, that's going to be the sum of R choose S terms. So just to, to try to make some sense out of that here, um, where did my next part go? It's down there. Okay, so for example, when we had three sets, N sub 1, um, we're going to take, the, again, the number of elements in A1 plus A2 plus A3. And again, here we're computing. We're computing uh, three choose one. We've got three sets to choose from, and we're going to pick one of them. Notice the number of elements in N2. That's going to be three choose two, because, again, we have three, ele three sets to choose from, and we're looking at them pairwise. So N2, we're going to look at the intersection of A1 and A2 plus the intersection of A1 and A3 plus the intersection of uh, A2 and A3. And lastly, uh, n sub 3, well, there's only going to be one term. Again, we're computing 3 choose 3 in this case. So we're picking all three sets. So just for, for one more specific example, if we have four sets, a1, a2, a3, and a4, well, n1, again, we just add them all up individually. n2, again, we just look at all the pairwise possibilities. So we would have a1 and a2, a1 and a3, a1 and a4, a2 and a3, a2 and a4, a3 and a4. And again, in this case, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six terms, and that would be the value of four choose two. Likewise, for N3, we're going to look at all you know, uh, possible combinations of the intersection of three sets. So here we've got one, two, three, four terms, which again is the value of four choose three. And lastly, N sub four would be the intersection of all four sets. And again, our claim was that the union, if we look at the cardinality of the union of all of those sets, it's going to be N1 minus N2 plus N3 minus N4. So let's actually jump into the proof here now. Um, and again, I'm just going to talk through this. So there's, to me, a couple of little subtle points for sure, you know, things that I had to think about. But um, I've made them clear in my mind now. So certainly I'm going to go through it and talk about it relatively quickly. But, you know... Uh, you may have to pause it and think about a few of these things. And there's one little interesting tidbit that I didn't prove, but we can talk about that if anyone's interested. So, Okay, so here's the principle of inclusion-exclusion. It says, for any finite sets, A1, A2, up to A sub R, 
we're going to define n sub s just like we did a second ago. S is going to be greater than or equal to 1, less than or equal to r. It's going to be the sum of all possible intersections of the s sets chosen without repetition from among those sets a1, a2, up to a sub r. So the claim is that if we look at the union of all those sets, the cardinality of that is going to be n1 minus n2 plus n3 plus dot 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 plus negative 1 raised to the power of r minus 1 multiplied by n sub r. And that was the claim that we made in the previous video. Uh, you know, I think I had that formula at the very beginning. Okay, so this is going to be the first part of the proof. I'm going to need to jump to a second sheet of paper here in a second. So to start off, we're going to define m to be the number of elements in the union of all of those sets. So um, we're going to show that m equals, well, n sub 1 minus n sub 2 plus n sub 3 plus dot 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 plus negative 1 raised to the power of r minus 1 multiplied by n sub r. And that's, that's what we're trying to show here. We're going to justify that by showing that, well, if we move all the terms over to the left side, we're going to show that m minus n sub 1 plus n sub 2 minus n sub 3 plus dot dot negative 1 raised to the power of r multiplied by n sub r. We're going to show that this equals 0. Okay, so right, if all of this equals 0, well then we could just shift everything back up and get the statement above it. One little thing, I don't know, uh, I guess my brain wasn't working. Notice if you subtract over this negative 1 raised to the power of r minus 1, you're going to pick up an extra negative 1. So you could um, basically rewrite it as negative 1 to the r. So that's just the little, you know, the only reason for this change of, uh, of the uh, exponent. Okay, so A is going to be an element that belongs to the union of all of those sets. Okay, so A is an element that belongs into all of those sets. And we're going to suppose that A belongs to exactly K of those sets, A sub I. So maybe it belongs to all of them, maybe it belongs to some smaller number of them. Okay, so now let's look here. Okay, so A is going to be counted, well, exactly once in N excuse me, once an m, because m is the union of all those sets, so if we look at the union of all of them, well, a would be counted one time, or k choose zero. Notice it's going to be, uh, it's going to be counted k, which is the same thing as k choose one times an n sub one, right? If we go back to, um, where did my other one go? Um, if we go back and, you know, look at, at, at a1, plus a2, plus a3, plus a4, plus up to a sub r, it's going to be counted k times there because it's only in, well, k of the sets. Um, so that's what we say here at the bottom. Likewise, in n2, that's when we start looking at all the, the pairwise intersections, it's going to be counted k choose two times in there because, again, well, a belongs to exactly k choose two of those intersections. And we can keep this argument up. Eventually, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be uh, counted one time um, when we look at the intersection of uh, the k sets, k choose k, because, well, it belongs to all of those sets. Okay, so notice if s is greater than k, a is not counted at all, because now we have this intersection of a lot of sets, and a no longer belongs to the intersection of all of those sets, because a only belonged to k of the sets. Okay, so once s gets larger than k, it's not counted anymore. So, okay, so the number of times that, 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 uh, that I should have said, the number of times that a is counted in this, this, this expression, m minus n sub 1 plus n sub 2 minus m sub 3, up to uh, negative 1 raised to the r multiplied by n sub r, that's going to be, well, exactly these values. That's what we just argued. It's going to be k choose 0 minus k choose 1 plus k choose 2. So uh, we now know a value for this expression, but it turns out that this expression, k choose 0 minus k choose 1 plus k choose 2, etc., up to negative 1 to the power of k, k choose k, it turns out that that equals 0. So here's my little mystery question for you. Why does that expression equal 0? So if you can't figure that one out, I can always do a quick proof of that one. Um, but it's true. So therefore, well, since this expression equals 0, this expression equals 0, and we can just now extend this out to r. So it doesn't matter here. 
So lastly, we get that, well, m equals n sub 1 minus n sub 2 plus n sub 3 minus n sub 4 dot 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 um, up to what we wanted, negative 1 raised to the power of r minus 1 of n sub r. So that is the proof of this result here. So, um, you know, you definitely, I think there's a couple subtle points in there, you know, but, but um, hopefully nothing too tricky. So again, all you're really doing is just making use of combinations to count the, the number of times that you're counting A, and this just relating it back to, you know, that previous notation. So in the next video, I'll start doing some actual examples. Um, the first one should be pretty straightforward. The second example, you know, there's a little bit more work, but it's still the exact same ideas. So we'll uh, take a look at those soon. And again, I'll put links to the previous video and to the next video in the comment section.